and welcome to this week's Artist on Art, April 30th, 2012. I have the wonderful pleasure of speaking today in the studio with Ruth Rabinowitz. Ruth, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I'm so delighted to be here. Yay! <laughs> Ruth is our local own treasure uh, photographer, and uh, recently you did a career change. Is that right, Ruth? Yes, I am still doing um, limited amounts of photography, uh, but I did. I, I kind of had the midlife thing going on and decided to go back to Cabrillo um, and study early childhood education, which is a fantastic department at Cabrillo College. And I um, worked hard the last two years to receive my credential, my permit for site supervision and um, master teacher from the California Association of Teachers for that. And um, started working at Walnut Avenue Women's Center as a program coordinator there um, about 16 months ago. So Ruth is here to talk about several things. Um, most importantly, there is an exhibition that is opening. Uh, actually, it's already open. It's hung. Mm -hmm. It's at the, um, the Santa Cruz Art League over on Broadway. On Broadway and Ocean. Broadway and Ocean, mm -hmm. um, you got it's right off of Ocean, and the reception, the big party that y'all are invited to is Saturday, May twelfth, from three to five p.m. Again at the Santa Cruz Art League, and Ruth has been uh, creating artworks with the children that visit the Walnut Avenue Women's Center. Well, they've been doing the artwork, so they come. I'm primarily with them Thursday evening. Mm -hmm. And so we've been putting out all kinds of mixed media materials, um, different kinds of paint, watercolor, collage, group mural projects, individual projects, um, glitter, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And they, um, it was difficult at first to have them actually turn in their artwork and not take it to their parent caregiver and just say, this is what I did tonight and take it home for the fridge. Um, so there was some convincing to do to, to talk to them about the goal of the art show. So the art show with T. Mike Walker, um, who's the executive director of the Santa Cruz Art League, he um, actually came to me and, and said, would you like to do an art show um, at, the, at the league? We'd love to help promote your program. And I thought that was just a delightful idea. So I had to then sort of sell it to the children <laughs> and explain to them why I was collecting their art every week. And pretty soon, they started coming up to me and saying, this is for the art show. Put this in your... We had a special bin with each of their names. And the promise is that they would get all of their art back after the show came down. I'm hoping to travel with the show. So if anyone out there has a venue after the end of May, um, we'd love to, to talk to you. But yeah, so that it was just collecting it was a little challenging. But, yeah. but in the end, the kids just came up and this is for the art show and this is for the art show. <laughs> and then uh, the wonderful thing is T. Mike Walker, he framed all of the he children. Did. <laughs> so he's really helped a lot. And, uh, and so the show is hung. It is. Um, it got hung this this weekend, mm -hmm. and um, so the the your work, your children's work uh, from the Walnut Avenue Women's Center is in the hallway of the Santa Cruz Art League, and then there's also another exhibition yeah. of of young children or yeah. young adults, the uh, children. Um, so we're in the lobby. We have the lobby, and there is uh, two works from the youth department, from Wise Guys and Girl Talk, also from Walnut Avenue. But the bulk of the work is the Kids Club program. Um, so this is a program for children affected by uh, trauma and domestic violence. And this is, it's, it's a program so that when their parent caregiver um, needs to get support and go to DV services for support, um, on Tuesday, Thursday at lunchtime, and also Thursday evenings from 6 to 9, essentially 6 to 8 for the kids, um, there's a place for the kids to go and be supported themselves by child advocates and myself. So anyway, there, um, and then the Wise Guys Girl Talk is for the older children. So their work is also in the lobby, and that's the youth department at Walnut Avenue. And the show, the exhibition is called Express Yourself. Mm -hmm. And this is particularly important for the children. When you say, Ruth, um, for them to be able to express themselves. Yes, I mean, many children have come in. I've known lots of the children the whole time. I've been there 16 months, some only six months. And they come in sometimes shy, sometimes very frozen. 
And so having lots of art materials and really letting them plug in to what they want to do with it allows them to express their emotions. There is a workup at the Art League. It's a black and white kind of like a just an ink pen on paper of um, done by a child of, with someone shooting a gun. And you can see the bullet. Mm. And so there is a little bit of that of that kind of work. A lot of the work is just kind of happy work of what they're probably wanting to see in their lives flowers and hearts and happy things big fish <laughs> things like that but yeah it's a it's an opportunity for them to not be judged we don't we train the child advocates to not um help them a lot with their artwork to, even if the kids want help to to support them and say here's this color crayon or can i help you with this aspect but not to do it for them and um and just to let them be free with it, not ask a whole bunch of questions about it. If they want to talk about what they're making, great. Um, so it is a chance for them to kind of do their own, I guess, art therapy. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind site. of where I've been leading it. Mm -hmm. And so, Ruth, was this a part when you were going, when you went back to school to get your graduate degree in, in teaching, was this a part of your training at all? or? Well, I also was doing ceramics at the same time, so for two years um, at Cabrillo. So we always have fresh Play-Doh and many colors and sometimes add aromatherapy to that, too, so they can play with clay. Uh, I am not trained as an art therapist. I think that would be a wonderful long-term goal of mine. <laughs> but it's sort of a natural thing um, that arises with children and art materials, especially a, a children affected by trauma. Mm -hmm. So the Walnut Avenue Women's Center, for those that aren't um, familiar with it, is mm -hmm. a place, uh, a safe place for women um, that have are possibly in some type of abusive situation. Mm -hmm. And um, do you want to tell us just a little bit about... I the have the history and the mission right okay, here. Great. I can read it off. So the Give history of Walnut Avenue Women's Center is for over 75 years, the center has helped women, children, and families lead healthy happy and productive lives. Our interactive programs aim to improve the economic, physical, and emotional well-being of women, children, and teens. Founded as the YWCA in 1933, the Women's Center was renamed in 1994 to better reflect the programs offered and our community's needs. The Women's Center services over 3,000 3, women, children, and families each year. And then the mission statement of the Walnut Avenue Women's Center is to provide support and services so women, children, and families have the opportunity and skills to thrive. And I would assume as an artist mm -hmm. and an educator, you would say that um, art is a big part of a child's ability to be thriving. And, and It really, really is. So we have lots of opportunity for art. For sensory materials such as the play-doh or beans or rice or you know cloud dough different things like that oobleck and then we have a dramatic play area where we collect all kinds of purses and capes and hats and things that they can dress up in they can make a grocery store we'll have a cash register and we'll collect our cereal boxes and things at home for a while and they can you know use play money out of the life game or monopoly money and do <laughs> transactions and uh yeah and then we have our our block area and our and our story time our bilingual story time and circle we do yoga with the children we have cooking activities with the children where they can make their own snack so you're teaching them also how to live their competently in their lives mm -hmm. and, um tell us really ruth how someone's listening right now how can they help they of course by coming to the exhibition and and specifically the reception mm -hmm. um the party may 12th from three to five but how could somebody in santa cruz listening right now how would they also be able to help well this this whole program is we don't have a grant at this point in time so we're all through donations and that's donations of people's actual volunteer time so people can become a child advocate and our next training is coming right up. It's uh, the weekend of May 19th and 20th, the Saturday, Sunday. They're both half days from 12 to 4. And they can contact um, Denise, who's our volunteer coordinator. I'm going to go ahead and give out her phone number, 831-426-3067. Uh,
Again, 426-3062 for Denise. And we would love to train you to be a child advocate if you would like to commit to any of those shifts, Tuesday, Thursday, lunch groups, 12 to 1, or the evening program on Thursday night, basically 6 to 9. And if if you have... Um, cash will take it if you we have a donate button online we have if you go to wawc.org we have a donate button on the kids club web page we have a wish list of items so if people don't want to just give cash they actually want to give like multicultural dolls or you know, kitchen play kitchen stuff they can do that and art supplies and art supplies there's lots of art supplies on the wish list and um but even if you have, like, children's books around your house, um, art supplies, dramatic play clothing, um, anything like that, Mo- even soothing music, gift certificates, healthy fruit, fruits and vegetables, those kind of donations can come in to Walnut Avenue. Um, I believe it's on t- Tuesdays, Monday and Tuesdays. You'd have to call the front desk um, or call me. And I'll give out my information. Yeah. Let's give, uh, this is Ruth Rabinowitz. You are listening to Artist on Art here at KZSC Santa Cruz. (laughs) Ruth's contact information is capwawc at gmail.com. Or you can give her a call at 831-426-3062. And that's extension 219. And again, Ruth is the program coordinator uh, for the Walnut Avenue Women's Center Kids Club program and this is a club program um, for children um, so that they can have some caregiving while their their caregiver is uh, receiving some kind of counseling and, mm-hmm. and therapy and so the kids come and, and they get snacks and they also get to do these different projects, art projects mm-hmm. so Ruth tell us a little bit about some of the different projects that you've done with them and I know you, you told us about the different materials mm-hmm. um, do you come for, you know, with the an idea of of what you want to show them every this is Tuesdays and Thursdays yes so the lunch groups Tuesdays and Thursdays and then the evening program Thursday evening is the bulk of the kids we have about 15 to 20 children and, oh, how old are they um they're infants to 11 years old and sometimes we'll get a 12 and 13 year old sneaking in <laughs> A lot of siblings. Um, it's a bilingual based program. And as far as the, um, the art projects go, a lot of it is child advocate directed. I, um, I have some psychology interns from UC Santa Cruz that are doing their field study. So they commit to 10 hours a week, which is fantastic. And then other volunteers that are less, less committed, less time, maybe three hours a week. So they actually fill out activity forms that that I run that run by me and I look at them and and make adjustments to it. So they're going on the web and they're finding all kinds of wonderful art activities to do whether it's sort of a crafty thing. We use a lot of like toilet paper rolls, <laughs> like you know, recycled material, um uh, paper towel rolls. Um and a lot of it just kind of is free art, you know, it's with it's with crayons, it's with watercolor, it's with tempera paint it's with you know all that kind of stuff or mixed media magazine cutouts t mike gave us a a large amount of his magazines that were already cut out that's the kind of work that he does that kind of mixed media um i brought in real clay and shown the children my actual clay that was fired and glazed and had them work with real clay um a lot of it's just they sit down and they start doing stuff and um Sometimes we'll have things for them to glue. We'll have, use a lot of white glue <laughs> and paint brushes. <laughs> Glitter. Sounds, <laughs> sounds wonderful. Um, again, this is Ruth Rabinowitz, um, program coordinator at the Wal- Walnut Avenue Women's Center Kids Club. Ruth uh, recently went back to school and uh, got her credentials uh, to be a teacher. Mm-hmm. To be a preschool teacher and site supervisor for preschool yeah and you've been with the walnut avenue a year and a half now yeah yeah it's great i love it there i love uh christy clemens the director um that i work with very closely and ruth is someone who um was a transplant way back and you went to school here at uc (laughs) santa cruz i'm alumni here merrill college Uh and uh worked as a photographer for 20 years what kind of photographs did you take 
Uh, it started off, I did greeting cards that I marketed throughout the whole nation and Europe. And um, it was a great business, but it was really a hard business to sell that much stuff. And then it moved into primarily wedding photography. And I was one of the only female wedding photographers in this area in the early 90s. And um, I would do all my own darkroom work, a lot of it here on campus as a lab tech sepia toning oil painting making albums very hands-on not the computer not photoshop and then i would do i've done maternity pictures i've done all kinds of special events children families i loved the children though i did really love the children at the weddings and so that was part of my interest as well and if somebody is interested in seeing your work they can go to ruth rabinowitz dot com online that's r-u-t-h-r-a-b-i-n-o-w-i-t-z dot com and you'll be able to see your work and Mm -hmm. you're still also available yes i'm still working in that field as well yeah 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 Mm -hmm. once an artist always artist and i want to um just uh i've neglected to tell our dear audience that you received your art degree here at ucs yeah i got my ba with a photo emphasis here and so mm-hmm. have you have you have you made the digital I'm in transition? intermediate Photoshop right now at Cabrillo College. <laughs> <laughs> so you are making that transition. Yeah. It's been slow. But it's, it's been slow. But it's good. I mean I'm picking it up. It's yeah. It's the way it is. And so <laughs> have you found any difference with how you take your pictures? Um have you noticed any difference? I take a lot more with digital, of yeah. course. I mean, I'm not even budgeting for film anymore. So I just was at the Statue of Liberty and had five fabulous days in Manhattan recently and just took a gazillion just on the boat going by the Statue of Liberty. Whereas with film, I would have taken three or four or five. This was like 50, you know, of every angle. And so you would have planned it much more carefully because it was much more expensive, the resource, mm-hmm. the actual filming not not so much the film but the the um getting it developed and oh yeah the time that that takes definitely and i used medium format i used a baronica which is like a japanese hasselblad for most of my life i still have many of those cameras what, what so. does that mean so the the negative is actually larger yes it's um it's 645 instead of 35 millimeters so it's just much larger image uh negative so everything's much clearer as you enlarge it and so you do you have a dark room still available do you do no, no i'm not i'm not doing dark room work right now yeah. <laughs> hey, it's it's interesting that's uh it's 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 going out of style and uh for many good reasons but my daughter was just talking about how she would really love to have a, a camera a film camera for her birthday <laughs> oh <laughs> my, my goodness i know i was like what that's like old school yeah um but you know nostalgia sets in pretty fast i think uh-huh. <laughs> with this technology <laughs> <laughs> uh so let's just get back real quick to um the installation, the exhibition, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Express Yourself Art Show, uh, which is going on now um, at the Santa Cruz Art League. And again, it's the women, the Walnut Avenue Women's Center Kids Club artists, uh, children f- very young to 11 years old. Let's yes. Say. How many pieces are did you did you hang? I believe there's about 18 in the lobby. So some are large group works where um, one of my favorites is like, uh, they're like three trees. So it's the children painting their whole forearm and hand with brown paint and making a tree and then doing their thumb for all, thumbprints for the leaves. And the best thing is that I know exactly how that was that evening with them dripping paint all over the place and totally, you know, getting into the materials and the collaborative work of that, of them sharing um, the mural together. And then we have a giant fish from the Rainbow Fish story, uh, which is a very famous book. And it's got um, scales on it that are shining that are just aluminum foil. Right. So, and then all kinds of tissue paper. There's a lot of glued tissue paper art up. And so they're all different sizes. And some of the pieces are a little bit more jarring, like the gun one with the bullet. And some are just big hearts with lots of glitter on them or just one single daisy. <laughs> you know? And who, who, um, 
How do these kids participate? Like, one of the questions is, what's the cl- kids club? Tell us again. Yeah, so kids club is, um, I'll just read our statement here, is an enriching child care environment where children, infants to 11 years old, participate in various activities while their parent guardian attends support groups and one-on-one peer counseling appointments at the Walnut Avenue Women's Center. And our goal is to provide a safe space for children where they can relax and express themselves. And we foster resiliency factors through the development of healthy coping strategies such as attachment, self-regulation, and developmental competency. So we're really there to support the kids. They're going through stuff too. I mean, there's just no... (laughs) You have to just admit it. They're they're going through it as well. If the mom's parent caregiver is in a support group, the kids are witnessing what's happening. So it's a space for them to be a kid. You know, just to relax and have a good time. If they want to share something heavy, we're there to to understand and, and value that, you know. But basically, it's just a chance for them to play. Oh, it's wonderful. Ruth Rabinowitz, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're, we're almost out here. Oh, my gosh. It went quick. <laughs> and if anyone would like to hear uh, more about this, uh, again, you can go to um, the Women's... Uh, the Walnut Avenue Women's Center is uh, W-A-W-C-E? W- W-A-W-C. Dot org. Dot O-R-G. Mm-hmm. And Ruth's contact information is C-A-P w-a-w-c at gmail.com and they're um, always available to take donations um, and if you have items that you'd like to donate you can bring those to the front desk Mondays and Tuesdays from 10 to 4 p.m. at 303 Walnut Avenue and they're looking for all different kinds of books, art supplies, toys, dramatic play clothing, um, soothing music, <laughs> cash <gift certificate. laughs> and you will get a tax donation receipt we are a non-profit and so it, it's all right offable on your taxes and healthy food yes the, the healthy food is good yes. and uh um don't miss the reception which is may 12th from 3 to 5 p.m at the santa cruz art league um you'll also be able to see um some other high school students work yes it's in the main law in the main gallery is the santa cruz high school show i think there's about i think it was like 500 oh. um, pictures uh, of all high school students and i just i walked through that it was beautiful work oh. so we're gonna all be together it's gonna be and then community tv will be there as well so we're gonna have it documented well, so excited thank you so much for your work ruth and coming up here and um and if you want to see ruth's photography work go to ruth com. and again those links will be on artist on art uh stay tuned everybody for gamers on game and uh hopefully y'all are having a a beautiful day um thanks for listening and stay tuned <laughs>